I'm learning about Edel Fitter. Today is the very last day of fasting of the month of Ramadan and Faisal and Farah are very excited. They are looking forward to Eid al-Fitr tomorrow as they eat delicious suhoor, a very uh, early morning food eaten more than an hour before sunrise. Now they will keep the fast for the whole day and only break it just after sunset. Faisal and Farah go to a school in, and live in East London, where their father work, works as a school teacher. Their parents originally came from India, but have now been settled in England for many years. During the Suhoor, their father told them the stories of Ramadan in India and the magnificent mosque in Delhi which is known as Jama Masjid. This is Jama Masjid in Delhi, India. And this is Badshahi Masjid in Lahore, Pakistan. Farah and Faisal fasted throughout the whole day. They broke their fast at sunset. After the Maghrib prayers, they went outside to have a glimpse of the new moon. But they could not do so, so they left their house and went to a park where the sky was clear. There were other families there too who had gathered to see the new moon. They were thrilled to see the new moon the moon of Eid. Everyone there was overjoyed to see the new moon in the shape of a very thin crescent. They said to each other, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, which means have a happy and blessed Eid. The moment Farah came home, she called up her friend Maria to give her the good news of the moon of Eid. They wished each other a happy and blessed Eid and promised to meet in the mosque the next morning. Maria's parents belonged to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. She told Farah that in Malaysia they greeted each other on the Eid day uh, was Salamat Hari Raya Aidil Fitri Maf Zahir Batin, which means, which meant they gave good wishes for Eid and prayed for each other's forgiveness. She told her about the beautiful blue do domed mosque in Shah Alam near, near Kuala Lumpur known as the Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah Mosque. And this is the, this right here is the Sultan Salahuddin Mosque in Shah Alam near Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The next morning, as Farah and Faisal sat at the table for breakfast, their parents reminded them that before beginning to eat, they should say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, which means, in the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. They also taught them the short prayer to be said after finishing the meal. Alhamdulillah alladhi أَطْعَمَنَا وَسَقَانَا وَجَعَلَنَا مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Which means, Praise be to Allah who has given us food and drink and made us believers.
After a while, Farah and Faisal arrived at Regan's Park Mosque with their parents. Faisal's parents gave some money to the poor before entering the mosque. This is called Zakatul Fitr or Fitra, which is special donation to charity made to enable poor Muslims to celebrate Eid al Fitr. It is equivalent to a quart of grain per person in household, paid directly to the needy or through the mosque at the end of Ramadan. Faisal and Farah entered the mosque saying, Allahumma iftahli abwaqa rahmatik, which means, O oh Allah, open for me the gates of your mercy. Farah was happy to meet Maria in the mosque. They greeted each other saying, Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be upon you. As they talked about their plans to enjoy this joyous day of Eid, Farah's mother ushered them towards the ladies' area. This is a separate enclosure in the mosque where only ladies can pray. They prayed special two rakah, Eid prayer, and listened attentively to the khutbah, sermon, of the Imam, who told them the significance of Ramadan and Eid. At the end of the Imam, at the end, the Imam prayed for the community, their country, and its people. He also prayed for peace and harmony in the world. After the end of the sermon, they all got up and embraced one another, saying, Eid Mubarak, which means, have a happy and blessed Eid. As Farah and Faisal were coming out of the mosque, they did not forget to say the following prayer. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik, which means, O oh Allah, I seek your favor. Faisal always loved to come to this gorgeous mosque and Islamic center in central London, which is surrounded by beautiful gardens. Outside the mosque, there were kiosks selling balloons, souvenirs, and delicious food. Today, being the Eid day, there, were great, there was great excitement and the spirit of celebration in the air. Everyone was in, their, was in his best clothes. Their parents bought some balloons and gifts for Faisal and Farah. On the way back home, the family stopped at a park where the children enjoyed riding on the giant wheel. They also enjoyed riding on the merry-go-round. The children spent a lot of time having fun in the park and greatly enjoying playing there. There, Farah and Faisal also met some of their school friends. One of them was Javed. He told them stories about Eid in Samarkand and Bukhara. Javed recently read about these places in a book. <clears throat> this is Shahda, Shirda Madrasa and Mosque in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Farah and Faisal returned home in the afternoon. Their parents gave them presents for Eid. They thanked their parents and thanked Allah for giving them such a wonderful day on Eid. Faisal's father explained the true significance of Eid to them. Their father explained to them that Eid al-Fitr is not just for celebration and eating delicious dishes, 
but an actual fact is meant for the remembrance of Allah, so that his servants may worship him on his on this day and glorify his name and thank him for all the blessing which he has bestowed upon them. <clears throat> the years have passed and Faisal and Farah are now grown up. But whenever they look through the family picture album and see the pictures of Eid, they vividly remember the joyous day of Eid al-Fitr. They try to hold back their tears as they pray. Rabbir harhuma kama rabbayani sagira, which means, My Lord have mercy on my parents as they raised me up when I was little. The Quran, Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, verses 24. The end. Happy reading.